Hey fam, my name is Franklin and welcome to our Gases. Today we're playing The Human Heart by Leo and Ichio. Links to this game can be found in the description and in the comments. Last time, we fled the cops. <laughs> we fled the cops. We, we were saved uh, from the rain, the storm. We met two characters. Cade and uh his uh <laughs> gamer friend. I can't think I can't I don't know what his species species or what his name is. I can't remember. But Cade the bear saved us saved us and we I guess snuck all the way here to some apartment. <laughs> it's been a minute since I last played, so today I guess we are we're now in the new apartment that is not paid for, by the way. And we're just going to squat here and see where the story takes us. The large bear leaves the room, so you had it all to yourself for a while. Okay, dope. And our name's Axel. Okay, okay, okay. First day of wherever the hell I am, and I spend it being sick. What a several. I don't know what I would do if I wasn't fell. Let me do it again. I don't know what I would do if I wasn't though. Hell, I don't even know why I'm here. You try to adjust your sitting position, but instantly you feel something solid coming from your back pocket. My phone! Maybe I could call someone or something. Find answers. Find some answers, maybe anything. You put the device in your hands and turn it on. Yes, it's still charged. There's gotta be something in here that explains things. You frantically fiddle with your mobile device for a hot minute. Ugh, no calls, no apps. My gallery's just filled with pictures of crows. Are those even, ra are, or are those ravens? Why did I take so many? Gah, who cares? It's not anything useful. Why crows? You reach the contact section of your phone. Maybe I could call someone for help. To your surprise, the contact the contact list was empty. One of the I have no connections to anyone. Maybe I can call emergency services. Yeah, they'll know what to do. You dial your country's emergency hotline, nothing happened. Dang it. You try over and over and over and over and over and over, <laughs> but nothing happens. I must, I'm stuck here, aren't I? You laugh to yourself in hysteria. Why? You look down at your own two hands, before, but before you could ponder the meaning of the universe, someone steps inside the room. Him, his name is Dylan, okay. <laughs> Why do I feel like I made these characters myself? Okay. Oh Lord, his voice. Hey, so, Kate's getting you some soup outside. Apparently you have a cold. Oh, hi. I'm getting better though. <laughs> so much fun, let me start over. Oh, hi. I'm getting better though. Might not need soup that much. That won't be a prop. <laughs> that won't stop. Start over. That won't stop Kate from getting you some though. And why are you? Oh, that's... okay. And why are you here? I mean, I just helped save you from dying. I think I deserve those questions now. Oh, the question is true. He sits down across from you. I guess that's fair. So, um, what do you want to know? The mole ponders for a while, but he eventually speaks up. Well, first of all, what are you? I'm a human, though I guess that's not a common thing around here based on how you reacted. Talk about become a slave and shit. Like, whoa, <laughs> chill. <laughs> Sorry about that. Didn't mean to insult you, but you'd be surprised. Hmm? 
humans are actually pretty well known in some areas. Oh, <laughs> but mostly as folklore and myths. It's surprising to see one in flat. Uh, but mostly in folklore and myths. It's surprisingly to see one in the flesh, so to speak. Oh. Yeah, like, everyone knows your kind isn't real. I'm still kind of taking it back myself. <laughs> the mole lets out a cough and continues. Do you know how you got here? Wish I did. I wish I do, fam. Hmm. I, I see. You fiddle around with your fingers. How was life back at your home? I, I don't remember. But really? Nothing comes to mind? No. <laughs> sorry to hear that. I'm sorry to say it. Um, do you know what planet we're in? That's a weird question. Sorry, just making sure. Well, I was from Earth, so I don't know if this place is called the same thing. Huh, it's called, it, it is called the same thing. Oh, that's really weird. <laughs> Why'd I end up making this man like a stoner? Like, I'm an Axel, a stoner. <laughs> just, probably, hopefully just because he's sick right now. Like, he's not really in this like mindset right now but anyway yeah it is you two stay quiet for a while until dylan continued his inquiries hmm what's the last thing you remember before waking up wind chimes wind chimes yeah they sounded so peaceful so calm that's good Another moment of silence passes between the both of you. How are you feeling? I think I said I was okay already. Hmm? You were in pretty bad shape back there. Are you feeling any better? Yeah, thanks Dylan. Are you guys much better now? This is my gut reaction. <laughs> yes, much better now. I'm still kind of cold. Oh, it's Axel. I'm still kind of cold, but it's getting better. That's good. Yeah, even by a little, it's good. Hey, is that a phone? Hmm? The mole looks at the, uh, the mole looks at the mobile device that you've plopped down beside you. Oh, uh, yeah. Can I take a look at it? If that's okay. Sure, I guess. There's nothing on it anyway. You hand him your phone. Uh, I see. Very similar model from what we have here. That's cool, I guess. The mole fiddles around with your phone for a while. Well, what are you doing? There, I hooked your phone. Oh, there, I hooked your phone. Ah. There, I hooked your phone up to my Wi-Fi in the other room, and I gave you some contact numbers, so, uh... Don't you need a, a service provider <laughs> for that? Like, don't you have to pay some money? I guess that the phone bill ain't up, but, like, don't you... I... I'll run a business. I don't know. I feel like it's, like, connected. Like, like phone service providers have the connections. Internet service providers have connections between dimensions. And they're just making that coin right now and not telling anybody anything. But anyway, it wasn't as empty in, in there. Will my SIM card even work here? Want to text me and test it out? He hands you your phone back and grabs his own out of his vest. Uh, sure. You go through your contacts. To your surprise, he put in two numbers. Whose numbers are these? It's just mine in case, just in case. You go to your contact label, Dylan, and shoot him a message saying hi. Hi, works. Look, I got your message. 
He shows you his phone screen. Send me a message then. Let's see if that works. Ah, of course. Dylan texts on his phone for a bit. Your phone rings soon after. I want service like that, like interdimensional, like connection. <laughs> what's what's ooh? I mean, I can't think of like any like commercials that I could reference right now. Like y'all talking about how y'all got the whole U.S. or whatever. Like y'all got coverage. I'm like, you ain't got coverage like this. VN has coverage, honey. You just that you ain't got it like that. <laughs> we got interdimensional. <laughs> Anyway, Dylan turns on his phone for a bit. Your phone, your own phone rings. Some that was loud. That hit my eardrums. I'm sorry. Uh, you look to see what the message was. I'm going to have to adjust that. I'm going to have to adjust that. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> you look up at the mole who seems to be rather surprised. Huh. I didn't think that would work. Yeah, me either. Me neither. Yeah, me neither. Guess your world isn't so different from ours, huh? I guess not. Say, this all must be very confusing for you, right? Yeah, very. I mean, it might be too soon to ask, but what's your plan while you're here? Get out of here, I don't know yet. Figuring, I don't know, I just got here. I don't know yet. <laughs> I don't really know yet. Uh, yeah, I thought it might might have been too soon to ask. <laughs> yeah. The bear soon returns to the room, bowl of warm macaroni soup in hand. Macaroni. Excuse me, macaroni. Hey, um, I don't know if you have any allergies. But I grabbed some macaroni. It looked, it looked the safest. Hope that's okay. He places it on the table in front of you. I see you two are getting along though. Oh yeah, I I was just asking Axel here some questions. He also gave me the hookup with the with the Sully and the Mike. Sorry. <laughs> oh, what kind of questions? Kate sits beside Dylan. I'll tell you later, Kate. Oh man, no fair. I told you everything earlier. I'm about to time, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll say for you. Again, my name is Franklin. This has been The Human Heart by Leo Ichio. Again, you can find those links down in the description and in the comments. And then you can support this video by liking, subscribing, and turning on notifications so you know when I upload the minute that I do. I believe that is all I have to say. Thank you guys so much for being the Fields of My Fire, and I'll see you guys for the next video.